I'll teach us a song tonight. I respond to the Holy Ghost. I respond to the Holy Ghost. He's living in me. He's reigning in me. I respond to the Holy Ghost. I respond to the Holy Ghost. My God is living in me. It's raining amazing. I respond, oh, say. Not to fear, not to pain. Not to rejection, not to depression. Because it's living. Yeah. It's raining. I depend on the Holy I depend on the Holy He's living in me. It's raining in water. I depend on the Holy. It's living. This is for everybody. I rejoice in the. Rejoice in the Holy Rejoice in the Rejoice in the Holy Ghost Rejoice in the Holy Ghost Rejoice in the I Rejoice in the Holy Ghost Rejoice in the Holy Ghost Rejoice in the I am a Tanaka You know, the true, the true culture of worship is not to wait until somebody tells you to worship. It really takes revelation to worship. It takes revelation actually to worship. And this is how you receive from the Lord. You are here, you came in sick, but you are looking unto Jesus. According to Hebrews 12, it says looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. You are not looking at the sound. You are not looking at the sound. You are looking unto Jesus. So what we trusted the Lord for this moment is to really charge the hearts of men, stir the hearts of men to consistently live for Him. That's my assignment tonight. To stir your heart, to make Him your focus. To stir your heart, to do much for Him. Because there's a stirring to do much more. God wants to raise many Pastor Nathaniel passes all over the nations of the earth. And He's counting on you. And now is the time. So you're not just going to go home healed. You're not just going to go home with promotion. But you are going to be dispenser of great things. God is here. God is here. Somebody say, God is here. God is here. Say, God is here. And I know it. Come on, say, God is here. And I know it. Just, just permit me to do this, all right? I know that pastor will forgive me. But listen, your praise is perfected in obedience. It's not just dancing, but it must come with obedience. It must come with instruction. It must come with understanding. You are not just dancing for dancing's sake. You are not shouting for shouting's sake. But you know that there's something in your dancing. There's something in your shouting. There's something in your clapping. There's ayapate. Listen, I came for people who think that they, they are too weak to be used of God. God can raise any man. He can use any man. Tonight he is calling you to himself. You know, a few days ago, just, you know, as I was thinking about the Hallelujah Festival, we were together just, you know, just practicing. And then it, a song just dropped in my heart. And the song says, my heart is yours, Lord, today. I give you all of me. And I want to implore you so that you are not a user. You're not trying to use God. You come for the Alleluia, Alleluia Festival and there's nothing. You're not responsible. No, enough is enough. 
Now is the time for us to walk in boldness. Now is the time for us to do the things that God has called us to do. In fact, can we hold our hands, everybody? If you can just hold the hand of your neighbor. We will just play that Eno song for me. Play Eno. And as we are going to pray in the spirit, we're going to just sing a song. And we're just going to flow from there. Things are going to happen. Like I said, dormant gifts will be activated by the spirit of God. That your praise will be sustained. Not just today, but every day till the rest of the year. I beg you, respond to the Lord. So open your mouth, get a neighbor, get a neighbor. Let's just pray. Let's just pray together. That's what I sense in my spirit that we should do. Come on. You open scriptures and scriptures will come to you. Understanding will come to you. Come on, come on, come on. Help your neighbor. Help your neighbor. If you are strong in the spirit, assist the person. We must not go back the same. Overflow. You can't go back the same. You came all the way from Ghana, from Ethiopia, from Ojo, from the mainland. He must come. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. in your life even concerning your health what God wants to give you is not just oh be healed be healed he wants you to become a healer you are seeing listen through this meeting through hallelujah challenge souls have been saved lives have been transformed I'm a beneficiary of this project you can't come here and go back the same you came because God brought you here God ordained you here. It can't be a waste. The harvest is truly plenty. But tonight God is raising laborers. Maybe you didn't come here hungry. But I declare you hungry. Listen to me. For my brothers and sisters, for people in my generation, you see that the distraction is so much. The activities are so much that you can wake up in the morning and forget God. You can grow throughout the week and forget God. My brother once said that, you know, through Christianity starts on Monday. But fire is going to drop on people in this place. I tell you by the Spirit of God. If you are hungry, if you are thirsty, you see what God is doing? Through men of God in this nation, it's time for you to rise. Don't just be a church goer. Don't just be a concert goer. Don't just do it online for fun. Let it be the day. Let it be the day. Let it be the meeting.
when I count one to three, I want you to shout fire everywhere. Listen, the fire is not just for you know because healings are already taking place. Baby, you came here with an abdominal pain, somebody came here with a back pain. I'm telling you that the Lord is healing people, is healing people. Abdominal pain, I saw like a line, you know, maybe you had a surgery and then and then it's still paining you, but the Lord has healed you. So when you shot fire, this fire that is coming is the purifying fire. It's for the assignment. God has a purpose for you. The Bible says in Revelations 4, 11, we were created to give him pleasure we are created to praise him we are created to bow before him we are created to do all that he wants us to do for him so when i shout one two three you can stand in for somebody who is sick maybe your parents your mom whatever this is that time this is that moment Fire, fire, fire. Holy, holy fire. Purified fire. It's burning now. Fire, fire, fire. Holy, holy fire. Purified fire. It's burning now. You know, when I, when I go for meetings, I truly don't go as a guest minister because it can destroy what God wants to do in your life. I've held Mike's leading worship many times and i had the back pain and just rejoicing, it went off. So I'm not here just to preach at you. I'm saying that this meeting must count for every one of us. For every one of us. Even those who are unsaved. The waters are being stirred right now. Jesus. Jesus. So when you shout fire, this, this will happen. For those who cannot pray the language of the spirit, you will see yourself just, you know, bursting forth. Sally, if you have given your life to Christ, you will just see yourself bursting out in new tongues, new utterance. For those with eyes and eye problems, you know, as you shout fire, you know, it's going to go, you're using glasses and you don't want to use them again. I'm telling you this by the spirit. This is why you came here. You came here for transformation. Yes, we came to offer praise to God. And we, we also came to honor Him with our lives. So are you ready to shout fire? When I say one, two, three, you will, you, out of your belly, there is a river flowing out of God. It's the river of the Spirit. It's the river of God. And it's reviving dry places. So when I call one, two, three, you are going back to your campuses. You are going back to your communities. You are going back to your homes. You are going back to your nations. Burning for God. Yes, you came to praise God. But God wants to impart you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Still play it. Still play it. Are you ready? When I shout one, two, three, you shout it now. One, two, three. Shout it up. Spirit, 
Shabra Gaya. It's happening for me. It's happening for my family. Yatopo Beriapa. Jesus. 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 I'm no longer a slave to fear. Hey. Demons, check out now. Hey. Bete Kosa. A tout le lebete. A tout le belebe. A tout le bolodo. E potoke. Popera pate. Koto, 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 koto. the signs that you believe God is rejoicing your rejoicing confuses the enemy rejoicing is your nature this is what we do as believers we don't struggle to rejoice Paul was in a, in a situation that was not good in Philippians he was telling them he says rejoice again I say rejoice somebody was in chains and he was telling people to rejoice listen hold on you know in Acts 16 that pastor quotes and you know the core scripture for the for the challenge you know the bible says at midnight do you know what they went to do they went to preach the gospel they went to represent god they were beaten they were battered if they had rested it was justified but they even woke up at at an odd time to begin to sing praise and in that moment of praise and prayer deliverance happened in that place of praise and prayer what happened salvation happened and you are thinking that God cannot bring sweetness out of your pain you better rejoice you better rejoice you better re hey. Hey. so what I want us to do you will do it with understanding I said earlier that your, your shouting is a weapon your rejoicing is a weapon your worship is a weapon we see it all we see it in scriptures thanksgiving this is enter his game with thanksgiving how do you enter his presence how do you stay conscious of his presence it's just by saying thank you jesus i rejoice in the holy ghost oh joy is in my house joy is in my life oh 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 so in the next two minutes I, you know, Pastor said, don't look at the people, just focus on the Lord. That's how you receive, oh, not to start analyzing. You came with your notepad, focus on the Lord, focus on the Lord. In fact, maybe some of your prayer points may even change because now you know that God wants to be responsible. He wants to be responsible for nations. He wants to start preaching the gospel. He wants you to take evangelism serious. So even as he's doing all of those miracles, it's for you to point people to Jesus. There's signs and wonders happening in your life and you are saying, God did it. Come and see what the Lord has done. Jesus, yeah, to bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. My God. So one minute more. So we are going to just shout in this place. You know, pastor said when, you know, when he said we should shout, I actually sensed a shift in this place. He said we should shout. And he was saying, you don't know what is happening. We should shout. It doesn't make sense. A strong wall like the wall of Jericho, it doesn't make sense that that wall will come down by a shout. It doesn't make sense. Some of the instructions that God will give you, it will, it will not even make sense. But you respond, that's why we sang, I respond to the Holy Ghost. Because he's living. It's not just, oh my God. It's not just to live in the spirit, but to walk in the spirit. That's the response. So are you ready to rejoice? In the next, we want to, we cannot get tired of rejoicing. Are you ready? In the next one minute, we want to, you can do it with style, with vibe. Are you ready? Somebody rejoice!
Come on. That's your reality. That's your testimony. My time is up. Everybody, stop. Sing it again. For someone tonight, and it's from Psalm 118, verse 15. It says that the sound or the voice of rejoicing and of salvation shall be heard in your tabernacles. <laughs> 